APAC members. Today I'm doing a follow-up video to the Milk Duds video that I produced. Uh, today I'm going to be answering some questions from one of our PAC members, Rick Bearcat, uh, about Milk Duds themselves. So first thing to explain what a Milk Dud is, it's a single layer tip that has been soaked in milk for a period of time uh, in my case 24 hours and then pressed down to a specific uh, number uh, millimeter thickness in the case of my milk duds I press them all to six millimeters so he also asks what are the supposed advantages uh, a milk dud has over a standard elk master so when you create a milk dud uh, the purpose is for the casing to soak inside the leather itself and it helps strengthen the, the bond of the fibers creating a more universal uh, consistency throughout the tip. One of the other advantages that I've noticed is I don't get the mushrooming effect that I used to get with layered tips and it doesn't glaze over as easily and it requires less maintenance on my part to keep the, the shape of the tip. It's also been, uh, from my, my personal experience, the tip has held up longer than a uh, layered tip. Other brands, uh, he also asks, are there any other tip companies, and there are a lot of them, that have come up to at least the base level of what I'm producing. Honestly, I have not tried any of the other single layer um, tips on the market. I have heard that Techno Duds, which are a Milk Dud style product uh, and available online for purchase, do have the same consistency that I'm looking for when I create a Milk Dud. I personally have not tried them. I was turned on to Milk Duds by a Q, uh, Q Smith friend of mine that has been making them for a bit of time now. He's like, listen, try it out, see what you think of it. I fell in love. And then part of the reason why I make Milk Duds is I like to learn new skills and Creating a milk dud seemed like, hey, you know what, I've always liked science. I've always liked to, to try to do recreate things. So I just decided on a whim, hey, I'm going to start making milk duds. And then I noticed online that there weren't a lot of videos detailing the process of how to make a milk dud. That's why I decided to make the, the video I did where I detailed my process and took you through step by step. So, one of the things that I did talk about as to what I enjoy about Milk Duds is the fact that they're durable and don't require much shaping. So, I'm going to bring this one close to you guys. So, as soon as my camera focuses on it, there we go. So, this is a Milk Dud that was made by my friend Josh. He uh, does work on my cues. He also recovers tables in the areas and stuff like that as a as a hobby and part-time career. He put this on at the beginning of this year and I'm gonna zoom in real quick. As you can see in eight months of use, the tip still has plenty on it, <coughs> and I play a lot. I practice a lot at home. I uh, play in leagues, two different teams. Uh, this fall, I'll be starting a third team, uh, third night. But the tips hold up well. I've gotten great action out of them uh, to the point that I have to learn 
how to control certain aspects of my game a little better because I find that when I'm drawing a ball now, I even have a, a tendency to overdraw. So I really like the tips. I just started making them. And uh, again, anybody that wants to, to try one out, reach out to me in the comments. And uh, as soon as I get a pretty decent supply, I'll start mailing them out. Nothing wrong with a free sample, right? Anyways, I hope this answers some questions. If you have any qu other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, I'll see you in the next lesson.